when my brothers told me that some of his friends, when they were 17, they came here for one year, I say, okay, I want to do that. So I was very young, so seven or eight, and I really wanted to go to the US and I want to live here when I'm older. I'm happy because I'm learning how to be independent. It's gonna help, obviously, my English. I'm trying to be the best person I can. They are really friendly to us and they really have a lot of patience to like teach you. I joined volleyball team and I joined cheerleading at some different club. Like I can study very well and then join some different activities. I take biology, money and banking, algebra and child development, Spanish and English. Students attend all kinds of high quality schools, both public and private. All of the schools that we work with are very invested in cultural exchange as well as globalizing their classrooms. Our students are intrigued and they want to learn more. We had one student last year who actually went on to study in China. We're really starting to focus more on transferable skills across curriculum, but also transferable to life. Reading, writing, communication, problem solving, citizenship, and creativity. And the idea is that creativity shouldn't just be the domain of the arts teachers and problem solving for math. They're cross-cutting, cross-curricular skills. My whole family, they're really comprehensive. They are supportive with me anytime I need them. They're always there for me. Most families decide to host because they are really wonderful and open-minded with big hearts. They are interested in cultural exchange and they know what the benefit is for international education. There's my host dad, my host mom, and my little host sister. And I have another Chang student that lives with us. I never had a sister, so that was very cool. It was a perfect match. Julia is from Italy. I absolutely love Italy. We've been there maybe six times now. And then of course, my husband being from Germany, Lisa is from Germany, so it worked out really great. My host family really tried to show us the American life. It's amazing, I love it. My son has always wanted to have a big brother, so we specifically wanted to have a boy. It was the best decision we've made. Bryce has jumped right into our life. He came to us because he had a desire to be in a family that had horses. So it was a big win for both of us. We spent like, a lot of time together riding at the barn. It's a lot better than I expected. It'll be cool to tell people that I have a sibling in another country. It's a nice thing to have happen. It's very much a real brother relationship. Bryce doesn't let him win when they're playing the Xbox. CIEE has a very thorough process in vetting host families. As a mom, that would be very important to me, sending my daughter abroad. And I'm very comfortable with the way that CIEE makes sure that we have safe, compliant, warm, welcoming homes. It's been a great experience for everybody in our family to have Abby with us. She's a good role model, so we try to do everything for her that we would for our own child. My host brother is six years old and my host sister is two years old. At the first week, we go out like every day. They make me feel safe. I can feel it. I had contact with both of their parents and we write back and forth. We use Google Translate a lot. And students and families should know that it's an invaluable, life-changing experience and that it gives you insights, perspectives, and skills that they wouldn't have got otherwise. I know that at the beginning, it can be scary but it's really important for your life. That is gonna change your life. You always have the, like, the open doors to come again. When I'm older, I want to live in America, so I think this is the best thing I can do. It's great. I say very often it's great, but it's really great. I love it here. Yeah.